I've been racking my brain, where can I go to talk to people about the Royal Ascot? Well, I'm in Hollywood, what better place than Dylan's Irish Pub? I'm here with Katy Perry. Katy, say hello. Hello. <laughs> right now, what's happening in England is the Royal Ascot. And if I were to ask you, Kelly, what the Royal Ascot is, you would say? The Royal Mascot? An Ascot, one of the things you wear around your neck. The Royal Ascot uh, is one of the biggest races in England. It's like the Kentucky Derby in England. A horse race. Bing, ding, 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 ding. I've been there four times, but the last time that I went was in 2003, and I literally thought I was just in another planet. It was such a great race. The Queen of England actually attends. So if I were to ask you what a queen's box is, what would you say? Uh, that seems like a strange question. This is a real question. I could go two completely different directions. Just go the way you want it to, Kelly. Okay, it's the box where the queen sits in. The top box for the queen. Pink shorts. There you have it, Nick. The queen's box are pink shorts. Oh. Actually, the queen's box is where she sits. That's a ridiculous question. Can we move on to the next one? So uh, I hear there's going to be a Goldakova signing. Do you know what Goldakova is? The Goldakova is the, the the horse. Are we still talking about horses? It's Anna Kova's cousin that plays soccer. So, Katie, at the Royal Ascot. Hey, Angela, not Katie. Look, I know you're a big star, and you don't want people here to know. I got it. I'm in on the joke. The Golden Cove originally, the way I knew it, was back in the 60s. And it was a way to understand exactly how to get into the Queen's Box. It was like a ritual to get into the Queen's Box. The Godakova is the horse that the Queen, who's in the top box, is really for. Cool. Hey, what do you think the dress code is like over at the Royal Ascot. Kind of fancy. Is it more like ties and button-ups? Now, now you're talking. Yeah, it's formal. Okay, cool. Then you would definitely be sharpest dressed guy that we've had interviewed today. I wonder if they have to wear big hats. All males have to wear a top hat. Of course, you have to wear a top hat. I don't rock a top hat. Fancy schmancy. I love top hats. Do you think there's a place designated at the Royal Ascot where men could actually take off their top hats? Probably the restroom. And that's really uncomfortable walking through there because you think you're gonna be able to wear the, the top hat the whole time you walk through and then all of a sudden you're in this area and they're like, take it off. Why do you wear a hat? I don't wear a hat. Well, because it's a Royal Ascot race. High profile, everyone's dressed formally. <laughs> Sounds like a royal pain in the ass to me. What about spaghetti straps? Oh, absolutely, those are my favorite. I really am not sure who's making the judgment call, but uh, if they're male, I would say that would work. If it's hot outside, spaghetti straps, absolutely. I'm down with spaghetti straps. Do you think that they would allow mini skirts? No. It's probably not appropriate mini skirts. The last date that I took to that race, she comes, she wants me to wear a mini skirt, she's got a mini skirt on, and I said, absolutely not. She walks in there with it, they took her right, so false. And on women, the midriff needs to be covered up. So. Why? It's a formal race. The Queen of England's gonna be there. Do you know what a midriff is? Your stomach area? Midriff. Midriff. Can you hold this microphone for one second? Only if you show me your midriff. Are you gonna lift the shirt to show or? No, they, no one said there'd be nudity in this. 